The OSI model is a theoretical structure which forms the basis of communication for all network devices or hosts. If you look around you, network hosts are everywhere from your iPad to your computer, baby monitor, your phone or even your fridge freezer. And getting packets of data from one host to the next around the world is high priority. On top of that, with the advent of super high resolution video such as 4K, the need for network efficiency is greater than ever before. If we take this guy, for example, he wants to get the Facebook homepage on his phone, and as long as that happens quickly, he'll stay happy. But what actually happens when he presses the Go button on his browser application? Well, packets of data are created by the application, and the overall goal is to get those packets to their destination, usually on the other side of the world. This is done by adding headers to the outside of the packet, which contain sets of rules or protocols dictating how that packet must behave on its journey. Each layer of the OSI model contains its own set of rules, and depending on how the software guys wrote the application, how the engineers set the network up, and which hardware was used to do the job, will ultimately determine how efficiently these packets will get to their destination. Let's see what happens when we send the packet to the next host. In this case, a wireless access point. By the time the packet gets to the bottom physical layer, it's collected all the information it needs to move on to the next host. In this case, the next host is a wireless access point, and the physical medium used to send the packet is radio frequency. An alternative physical medium to RF would be a copper or fibre optic cable using electrical or light energy instead of radio. As the packet reaches the next host, it's the responsibility of that host to read the header information. Make a note of the information, repackage the header back up again and send it onto the next host in line. This reading and storing of header data is absolutely vital in ensuring that the receiving packets can get back to the original host. The packet will move further up the OSI model dependent on the host that's receiving it. For example, an unmanaged layer 2 switch will read less header information than say a managed layer 3 switch or a router. Not all devices have to read all seven layers of information, as amongst other reasons, this would lead to massive inefficiencies within the network. Mm -hmm.